he's a guy who's had who's undergone great trauma, obviously, and has come out the other side damaged but not completely broken. And someone who is at uh, really against all odds is is making a life for himself and flourishing. And uh, I, again, like the real Mark, I I see him as a, a a person with a great deal of integrity and warmth and kindness, um, but with some demons, you know, some some dark aspects to his past that he's trying to, you know, trying to figure out. Bob's idea, and I think was a really smart one, was to take this other world that Mark has created, sort of as, as art, as therapy, and to bring that world to life as well. So we get to see that world animated. He built this town right, right outside of his trailer. And it was, uh, it was an art project, essentially. You know, he, <clears throat> one six scale, sort of Barbie, G.I. Joe sized dolls, but better than Barbies and G.I. Joes. These are, are very uh, intricate and beautifully designed dolls. I mean, they're, they're very photorealistic. And so he populated this World War II Belgium town with uh, Germans and with these wonderful women who sort of act as his alter ego's protectors. Um, and these women all have, you know, they're all versions of women that are close to him in real life, close to Mark in real life. But he has turned them into these sort of uh, idealized versions of women in this, this other place. He himself has an alter ego uh, whose name is Hoagie. He's a captain in the Army Air Corps and uh, a very swashbuckling, macho, uh, kind of no-nonsense guy. All of the things I think that Mark would hope to be. Um, you know, like we all have a little superhero inside of us and this is his manifestation of that. So there's Hoagie, there's his, his crew of women, and then there are the Nazis who he is constantly fighting against in this scenario in this town. And the Nazis uh, represent essentially the men who beat him up, the men who inflicted so much damage to him. He's a legend, you know, there's no way around it. The, his body of work, the things, I, you know, there are a few people that you can say, I, I grew, not only grew up with his films, but they really impacted me in so many ways and formed how I, you know, how I look at film and the, informed the kind of things I would want to do. He's, I mean, so many things I'm, has, have been said about him. He's, he's a master.